The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Free Sales Course Career Guidance by Intelogic. And uh, let's start your today's lesson on your, in your school on YouTube platform. So we are going to see now part eight of Salesforce real-time scenario-based scenario questions. And uh, let us learn how you should answer the questions that you are going to see today in the interview. So let's start one by one with all the questions. So here comes the first question. What is sales process in Salesforce? So when interviewer is going to ask you this question, then you can explain that the sales process is a mechanism by which we can follow the important steps through which our sales team can achieve the target and complete the sales cycle. Also, it will help us to create define and define different stages by which step by step our sales team can complete the customer's requirement and uh, the success can be achieved at the end by successfully completing the deal. So this, in, this kind of information you can share in the interview. Let's go for next question. What is the difference between sales process and support process? So here interviewer is trying to understand that uh, what kind of awareness you have about these two processes. So sales process is going to be useful for closing the deal and giving the success to the sales team. But support process is something which is going to allow you to solve the customer's complaint, which is called as case in a better way. It also has different process cycle, different stages, and we can set up different approach by which the support team in our company can solve the complaint or case of customer in a efficient mode. For that purpose, we use support process. And after this, let's go for the next question. What is lead process <coughs> in Salesforce? So when in our company, we are working on lead management and we are having some prospects leads to nurture them, to speak with them, to follow up them and ultimately to get the lead converted into the customer. We can define multiple stages in the Salesforce project. This helps us to complete the lead cycle in a proper way follow up the lead and in the different stages get the lead process to ultimately qualify and get converted into the business. For that purpose we use lead process. This can be your explanation in the interview. Let's go for next question. What is lookup relationship in Salesforce? So when we want to connect two objects and that we want to connect with loose binding at that time we can use lookup relationship in Salesforce. There will be no great dependency between these two objects record. But as a kind of a normal connection, we want to connect them with no strong binding. You can use lookup relationship in Salesforce. And let's come, let's go for the next and final question. And here we go. What is master relationship in Salesforce? So in this case, the interviewer is trying to understand the difference or the difference between your lookup and master detail and what kind of information you know about the master detail. So please note when we want to connect two objects in a strongly binded manner and uh, we want to make a strong dependency between these two records connected from the two objects and one record is deleted from object a then automatically second record of object b should be also deleted in this kind of situations in the real time projects we can prefer using master detail relationship this can be your answer in the interview so i hope you got some more awareness about the interview questions on part in part a let's meet in another video to see some more useful scenarios for the interview questions. Till then, keep studying and keep preparing for your interview. Thank you.